Hello and welcome to Pocket Game Busy's weekly news digest for the week ending the 17th of April. Great to see all of you in Bangalore having a fantastic time at Pocket Gamer Connects conference. I'm John Jo Oh. Oh, oh sorry, sorry over there. Didn't see John over here. Oh, hold on. Hi, <laughs> sorry, sorry, getting carried away with, with virtuality there. So, um, hi, this is John from PocketGamer.biz. Um, um, so, uh, yes, as, as you probably uh, understood, we, we've some of our gang have been in gang, uh, been in Bangalore this week in India. So, we've been doing Pocket Gamer Connects now for a couple of years, and this is our first uh, conference in in India, um, and we've, we run that in Bangalore, and that's that's been a pretty successful. So, we'll hear hear more of that in in the next kind of a week or so. But um, the other big thing is 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 obviously. These guys. So um, I guess you've been seeing a few of these. So this is a uh, a, a, a virtual reality mount. We've got a few more here. So this is the uh, this is the classic Google cardboard mount made of cardboard. In fact, so there we go. See that there. Um, and a few other kind of weird ones. This is a kind of a crazy kind of foam foam one. You put your phone in there. There we go. Um, so why are we talking about kind of virtual reality this week? So virtual reality is obviously something that's kind of been been around in the game scene now, um, or been talked about for really for about a year. So we've known things about um, kind of the, I guess the classic headline kind of um, kind of companies have, have been Oculus with the Oculus Rift, um, and in more recent months we've seen Samsung with uh, with Gear VR, which they partnered up with, uh, with Oculus in terms of the software. Sony are making a, it's a project Morpheus, um, however that turns out. And then more recently, we've had um, HTC and Valve um, coming up with, with with their own solutions, and there's, there's various other ones as well. But um, I guess um, what's kind of interesting this week has been while everyone's been waiting for these really high-powered solutions, so kind of Oculus and, and Morpheus, and, and certainly the um, HTC. Uh, VR headsets are going to be very powerful. They're going to be basically like kind of consoles, really, that you attach to your face. Is going to have motion tracking, all this kind of like singing, all dancing kind of stuff. But in the meantime, it's been it's been kind of cardboard, which kind of Google first showed last year. It was kind of I think when they first showed it, it was seen as a bit of a joke, really. So at Google I/O, they kind of had these kind of cardboard things. You put your phone, you, know, you unclip them, you put your phone in there. It's, it's kind of a very basic cardboard with some plastic lenses on it. Um, and that was seen as kind of like a, a very kind of jokey entry level to, to, to virtual reality. But what we've seen, partly in the gap between um, the big kind of all singing, all dancing headsets actually being released, or even any news really about when they would be released, um, and, and even with kind of Samsung's Gear VR, which is similar to to the uh, the cardboard, where okay, it's not cardboard clearly, but um, it's a headset that you put in um, a, Sam a Samsung Note 4 um, kind of tablet, so. You know, you're paying two hundred dollars for the for the um, for the mount to put it in, and then you're you're spending whatever you know, six hundred dollars for the for the tablet to put in. Um, that you know, those kind of all singing, all dancing things kind of haven't really caught the attention. Whereas something like a a, a cardboard, where um, you know Google's been pretty clever about it, it's kind of it's very simple. Obviously, it's, it's kind of said it's open source the design. All that means is you can get lots of different versions. I mean, this is just a version of cardboard made out of um, foam rubber, um, funny colours on. Um, you download these for you know ten dollars up to kind of for some of the plastic ones up to up to about hundred dollars. But all they are are mounts to put on your head, and you put your phone, your Android phone, or your iPhone in there, um, and you get the first kind of experience of virtual reality. Um, and while I wouldn't say these have taken off in the same way that um, I guess we've seen with with kind of Android Wear watches were kind of were there and it was a good technology, but didn't take off. And then Apple Watch clearly has taken off in terms of hardware kind of volume. It's almost been reversed when it comes to VR where. Why would you not, if you're interested in VR, why would you not buy one of these very simple headsets and just try it out? Um, and uh, as the gap kind of lengthens between when something like you know Oculus, which would kind of could be kind of seen as the Apple Watch of that sphere, we don't know about pricing. We don't really know about um, kind of how how consumer um, units will be available. We don't even know really with after the Facebook kind of acquisition, will it be a gaming thing anymore? Will it be something kind of different? There's a lot of uncertainty, and kind of in the meantime, these kind of things where you just put your phone into them, and and you start to see kind of content coming out for them. So um, the kind of interesting thing kind of this week is when Google has kind of announced it's kind of made with cardboard, um, kind of uh, kind of it's, it's, they call it even a certification process. I mean that's going a bit too far on the hardware. Basically, it's just kind of following their um, kind of kind of very simple plan. Of, of how you would mount one of these things, and it, there's, a, there's a little bit of technicality in kind of how far away the lenses are from the screen, and and they can do some clever things now where um, 
if you if you're certified by the process you'll it will generate a QR code that will be kind of kind of printed on the side of your of your um, kind of mount and then if the person who's using the mount takes a photo then that will kind of um, that will use that and that will slightly kind of tweak the way the software engine works so it, you have the best kind of performance of, of that app but um, we're kind of seeing content now from people like um, certainly some of the new games companies uh, who are kind of trying their arm out but even even some of the kind of brands like um, North Face that are, have been producing some kind of content for kind of climbing um, so you can see kind of VR of climbing stuff and we, I think slowly we're seeing a, a kind of build up of, of kind of market share for VR just by using your phone in a very simple um, kind of contraption that you put on your head which looks is kind of laughable really obviously you're kind of all laughing at me <laughs> with this funny thing on my head but um I kind of maybe think this is one of these kind of early adopter things where a kind of quite a sophisticated technology is, is kind of comes in and kind of gains market share very simply um, just because people try it out and it's very kind of low cost to get involved and just see. And it's, you know, using one of these headsets is not brilliant, but it kind of gives you a taste of what VR could be. And it's it, and some of the, uh, I mean, there's a, some very nice little kind of animations. There's one called The Windy Day, which is just a simple little animation about this kind of cartoon character and he's lost his hat and the wind blows it away and you just have to like look around. Um, and it's a lovely little kind of humorous animation, you know, like 30 seconds long. And people are starting to get their first taste of VR, not with these kind of massive, I'm going to spend, you know, $500 buying an Oculus Rift Rift and play a first person shooter game, but just by having these kind of much smaller kind of experiences and we're kind of seeing again the first take with kind of um kind of tours so um there's a tour around the um versailles pa palace in france uh, which is obviously a very impressive kind of kind of place and it's actually not even a great bit of content in terms of the vr tour it's, it's, it's a static kind of um kind of photo led thing uh, but you can you can imagine that you're there and you're starting to see good kind of google earth and things like this so you, i think what, what's kind of bubbling under here is the kind of the VR revolution. We're not waiting for Oculus, and we're not waiting for these um, for, for Sony to come out with with, with, with very highly designed um, and, and expensive hardware. It's kind of happening already, and I guess this is kind of what we've seen throughout the kind of um, history of, of kind of uh, smartphone devices and even mobile devices. As soon as you know, they started off things you you made phone calls with, and then you had text on them, and then you had cameras on them and then you had all these other kind of um, things that phones were kind of replacing kind of um, dedicated hardware and they weren't as good as dedicated hardware but they were you got them for free in your phone and they were good enough and so I kind of wonder what really with when it comes to VR I guess there are much wider questions about with VR you know will we be prepared to wear silly things on our heads even in the even in the kind of privacy of our own homes um, but assuming that a certain proportion of us do want to do that you know, maybe that kind of revolution has already started. Um, and I think, you know, Google's not made a big deal about this. It's, you know, the whole kind of, not, I guess the nice thing about cardboard is it seems to be a bit of a side project, almost a bit of a joke on Google's point of view, but it's slowly, I think, building a bit of a kind of a beach, a beachhead into that ecosystem. So now, you know, there are already kind of dozens of companies who will, who you can buy the, the Google um, cardboard kind of mount thing in various different materials. Um, and they're starting to get this accreditation process and that's feeding into the software side which is clearly more important so already you have um you know, unity supports the 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 cardboard sdk and the sdk for cardboard is being in, you know updated and, and, and um, tweaked all the time to make it better so you kind of have this kind of interesting scenario but by the time that oculus or or those kind of ilk of hardware are being released maybe people will go i don't need them because we've already kind of got the kind of mount doesn't really matter. I've got a phone and I'm using it already. I mean, equally, I guess on on the on the on the more kind of um, kind of uh, optimistic side, maybe stuff like Google Cardboard is kind of actually creating the market that these other more kind of sophisticated um, kind of headsets will come in, and then people will understand what VR is because of them. So I guess we're in we're in a, a kind of an in between phase in, in all in all different kind of manners. But uh, it would be certainly fascinating um, to see in the next couple of months. Um, when Oculus is announced and those kind of um, devices and how much they're going to cost um, and equally maybe these kind of small little cardboard and foam devices maybe they're uh, maybe they're the, the real revolution when it comes to VR anyway um, catch you next week when we'll be hearing more from the uh, Pocket Gamer Connects conference in Bangalore <laughs>